All right, the Lewis structure of CH3Cl, methyl chloride, chloromethane. Here we are, let's do it. I like counting my electrons first, just so I know how many I'm dealing with. Carbon is in group 14, so it brings four valence electrons, check. Three hydrogens is three singles, because hydrogens in the first column brings one valence electron. And chlorine is a halogen, so it brings seven. All the halogens bring seven valence electrons with them. There we go. Four and seven make 11, plus three is 14 electrons that I'm dealing with to start with here, okay? Now I like putting the atom that can make the most bonds in the center first. Here that's gonna be carbon. Carbon can make four bonds. Generally, hydrogens and halogens want just one bond. But let's, uh, let's see what happens. I'm gonna surround my carbon with the other atoms. That's H, 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 and Cl. And I'm gonna hold them together with single bonds because if they weren't held together with single bonds, then it wouldn't be a molecule, right? So it's like the bare minimum. By doing that, I've already accounted for eight electrons here. I need 14, so I'm gonna take my extras and I'm gonna fill the octets on the outer atoms. Each of these hydrogens is happy. They're an exception to the octet rule. They only need these two electrons to be happy. But chlorine prefers to have eight. Octet rule followed. Two, four, six, eight that I've done so far. Putting these two down is another, or is 10 total. This is now 12. This is now 14. And that's it, I have to call it there. That's all the electrons that I've been allocated. But luckily for me, that was just enough to fill the octet on chlorine. Two, four, six, eight electrons around the chlorine here. This carbon has two, four, six, eight electrons as well, so he's happy. And that's it, we're done here. This is the Lewis structure for methyl chloride, and it hardly took any work at all. That's it, good luck to you, cheers.